Welcome to From AMIA to Armistice, a series of podcasts commissioned by UCL Institute of Education. I'm Simon Bendry, Director of the UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours Programme. In August 2018, students from across the United Kingdom joined students from France, the United States, Canada and Australia on the Western Front to commemorate the Battle of Amiens. This series, recorded largely on location during that battlefield tour, tells the story of the Battle of Amiens in the wider context of the First World War and the road to armistice. In this podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Australia on the battlefield tour. My name is Nathan Austin. I'm from Australia. I represent the Australian Air Force cadets. What I'm going to take away from this trip is all the people that I've met, but also the history and the remembrance of the soldiers who fought here. My name's Alexander White. I'm a cadet under officer with the Australian Air Force Cadets. The main thing I've taken away from this trip is an appreciation for the scale of the conflict. We can see statistics and facts and figures, but nothing quite compares to seeing the scale of the actual battlefields. I'm leading team in Roman Alcorn. I'm representing the Australian Navy cadets. What I've taken the most, probably visiting all the sites that the Australians fought in over 100 years ago, seeing what the conditions are like for them and reliving their stories. My name's Cadet Chief Petty Officer Hayden Smith. I'm representing the Australian Navy cadets. What I've taken away from this trip is how hard it was actually for them 100 years ago, the things they had to go through and what they had to experience. I'm leading Sim Yeager from TS Voyager in Melbourne, Australia. One of the most memorable experiences I've had in this trip would be the Thiepval Memorial, as it really gives you a perspective on how many people had sacrificed their lives in order to save this country and the world. Hi, I'm Erin Trotter. I'm representing the Australian Navy cadets. So I took away from this trip a lot more focus on the Australian soldiers and their commitment to the Battle of the Somme and battle for Amons, like how they led the charge and all the work they put in. Hello, my name is Leading Seaman Lachlan Hope. I am from Australia in TS Gladstone. And I just say um, to know what Australia has done for their country and all the Allied forces, how they have made the world a better place. G'day, my name is Corbin Nevernati. My full name is Corwin Navanadi Majani Balk Balk. I'm from Australia, up in the Northern Territory, so I'm one of the Northerners, they call us. About this trip, it's amazing, I loved it. What's going to stay in my memory most is visiting the site where the soldiers fought for what they believe in. My name is Thomas Malaridellis. I'm here on the Centenary Amiens commemoration trip with the Australian Army Cadets. I'm from South Australia. What I really took away from the trip was when we went into the cathedral for the commemoration itself, the heavy emotional impact that struck all of us and blew us all away and really was something to remember. My name's Elijah Ingram. I'm from Australia. I've come here to Amiens with the Australian Army Cadets to celebrate the centenary of the battle. What really struck me was the enormity of the flow and effect of this battle and how it did actually lead to the end of the war and how that in and of itself was such an amazing achievement for the Allies. Hi, my name's Braden. I'm from Mount Gambia, South Australia. I've come with the Australian Air Force Cadets and the ADF contingent from Australia to represent Australia and our cadet forces at the Battle of Amiens commemoration this year. Today I really learnt about the negotiations that occurred at the end of World War I between the Germans and the Allied forces, what happened in the armistice clearing here in Compiègne, and I've really enjoyed the trip. It's been enlightening, very insightful, met a lot of new people and got to learn a bit more about what happened in World War I. My name is Jessica Lyons and I represent the Australian Air Force Cadets. Uh, we come to this commemoration for the Battle of Amiens and so far it's been absolutely amazing and it's a trip that I would absolutely do again. Hi, my name is Chantelle Rain. I'm from Australia, down in Tassie. 
from this trip, I'm going to take away all the information, the history, the experience, meeting new people and everything like that. Hi, I'm Madeline King. I'm from Australia and I'm with the Australian Air Force Cadets. I think the best thing I've taken out of this trip is that we're all so passionate about remembrance as young people and I'm confident to see that that's going to continue in the future and the torch of remembrance is going to continue, which is really important to me. You have been listening to From Amia to Armistice, a Chrome Radio production for UCL Institute of Education. The producer was Katrina Oliphant, with sound design by Chris Sharp. That brings us to the end of our series. I hope you have enjoyed listening.